All right, so we're trying to find a way back up to the trail. The parkway is closed, and uh, we came across this. Uh, pacemakers headed back home. He rented a car, and uh, Pop Tarts going with him. He's heading down south to hop back on the trail in Smokies or maybe at Amicola Falls. Um, they're pretty much done with their hike from last year, and. Um, Richard's getting ready to head back home as well, but we came across this little thing and had to stop and get some pictures of it, but how cool is this? Alright, we actually missed our turn off, and we're getting ready to turn around, and he noticed this going on, so I'll get a little video of it. This is the famous James River Bridge. I just got dropped back off a little bit ago. Richard got me a ride back over. Here I get some video. Uh, yesterday we came off. We we're actually a few miles up, but we can't get to the road because of the snow. You don't see any snow now, but up high there's still snow. Uh, it's windy and breezy. It's probably around 40 here. Anyway, it's windy. come under the train bridge there parking lots up there all right this is a quick shout out to Richard Gallup thing to uh, appreciate all the trail magic I'm sure uh, pacemaker and pop-tart do too um, I don't know where the camera is I'm looking all over the place but anyhow thanks brother um, it was great seeing you. I uh, hope you had a safe trip back. Okay, I'm here at John's Hollow Shelter. I was thinking about hiking out. Uh, the weather's starting to change again. It looks like um, I just loaded my pack on my back. And now I'm debating um, whether to hold up for the rest of the day here. And I'm gonna see, I got a little signal, I'm gonna see if I can uh, um, see what the weather is, see what the changes are going on. Okay, I'm gonna hike out. Now the weather's saying a slight chance of rain. Um, I guess it's just a cloud blowing over. Seems a little windier than it's supposed to be. It says 5 to 10, but there's some breezes coming in and out. But anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and hike on. Um, might stop at Punch Bowl Shelter. Or I might do a little night hike in. Or just go past it. I might even hitch into uh, Buena Vista. Even though I've been there a couple of nights already this week. <laughs> Thanks to Richard. Um, but, yeah, I didn't, uh, we had stopped and ate at Scotto's restaurant with, uh, Pop-Tart and Pacemaker. And, um, I was hoping to go back there and maybe stay, but I'm just hiking on and I'm going to maybe go and just get a few things from Buena Vista. 
Uh, we'll see how I feel when I get to that point. I might just hike past and uh, I think it's like Mont Bell, something like that. It's cut like 2.4 miles off the trail. And they got like a general store, I believe, and a camp area or whatever. But, whew. Um, that's my thoughts for now. Yay, the sun's coming back out. <laughs> Down in that hollow, it's looking pretty bleak. The winds were blowing, but seemed to have calmed down. And got pretty good uphill still. I think I'm going up over that. Um, but that seems to be that that's more uphill than, or that's not enough uphill <laughs> um, from what it looks like on the elevation guide. So there must be something behind that I'm not seeing. But anyway, we'll see what the trail brings. Hopefully it's well switched back. It's definitely going to be up. We're getting up this hill, mountain, whatever. Um, it's been windy. Sun's poking in and out. Um, but only a few drizzles. Anyway, I wasn't sure what views are coming up. We've been following this little stream that feeds into the James River or creek. Um, it's been a nice little walk. We got like a 17 or 1800 foot climb coming up here soon. But uh, I'm enjoying, uh, enjoying the path right this minute with the creek running along. Looks like I'm switching away or it's making a bend. But, pretty flat don't see that too often not for long anyways anyhow Richard's on his way back to home and Marco and Chief are up ahead uh, not sure if I'll see them or not depends on how many miles they did today but I might, if they stop at a punch bowl and I make it to punch bowl shelter, then I will see them. Alright guys. Got blizzard, especially falling down everywhere. The snow is coming down, it's getting crazy on the trail. Holy cow. Supposed to be 56 today. Wish I had gotten some video of the snow yesterday, but I was just trying to get down to the road so we could get a ride out of it. But hopefully it's just in the higher elevation. Um, I think it's only like 4,000 feet, 4,200 feet or so. Got one more little climb over there to do um, but yeah it's definitely some weather rolling in right now uh, anyway let's see if I get any more recorded um, I'll try to go to the shelter or to the road after and hitch in um, see what happens See how the road's not too far away from the. Ooh, it's blowing. 
too far away from the trail to the shelter, so I think it's less than a mile. Hopefully I can catch somebody on the road. If I decide to do that, alright, let me put this away. I don't know if you can see the trees, but they're working going crazy. So it's supposed to be 5 to 10 miles an hour today and light variable winds tonight. I guess this is the variable part. Alright guys, this is just view after view. I think it's called Rocky Row Mountain or Cliff. Oh look, birdie. I don't know if you saw them or not. There's a couple of them. They're behind this tree now. Here comes one. Here comes the other one. Riding the breezes. Searching for something to eat. Not me, hopefully. <laughs> Not very tasty, guys. Just keep on flying. That hill didn't kill me. I guess this one might, this next big one. Hopefully not. A lot of points you can go up. View from, I would imagine. Here, let's walk up. This looks like it's a worn path. Yes, it does. Oh yeah, kind of the same view. Ooh. Knees are a little weak. All right, I'm gonna get back on the trail. They got some uh, ways to go, and it's getting late. All right, we're back on the trail. I don't think I have too many climbs after this guy. If you can see him through the trees there. I think I go up and then go down. Um, and it's just kind of some bumps up and downs, which could be very steep or could not, but they're not too tall from what it looks like on the elevation. So, and I think this one coming up. Uh, I'm not sure if that's Bluff Mountain or not, but maybe. Okay, that's what that looks like over there. Looks like we got a storm coming in. Anyway, let me get to hiking. So there were a couple more views coming up. There's probably more after this too. But anyhow, figure I'd show them to you. <laughs> 